Hold me. Rainy days. A loud boom of thunder sounds through the empty hallways of the castle. You feel every inch of your frame tremble with a sudden cacophony as you're left with a faint ringing noise in your ears. Looking outside the stained glass windows, you can see the rain beating down mercilessly against the castle's crystalline surface, sliding off and falling to the ground below. The wind whistles as it blows through the panes, creating a ghastly hollow noise that was almost foreboding. But the clamorous rain was nothing in comparison to the silence within, a silence only to be pierced and interjected by the deafening outbursts of the tempest raging outside the castle walls. The silence is calming for your nerves, and provided a sense of semblance of peace despite the weather's turbulent condition. You hear it before you see it, the hoofsteps approaching you from behind, accompanied by the sound of large castle doors creaking as they closed shut. Pretty soon you hear the hoofsteps stop somewhere behind you, and with a sudden jolt of surprise you feel a pair of hooves throw themselves around your waist, pulling you into a tight hug from behind. <laughs> Twilight, that's very strong! You feel her snout press into your shirt, her ensuing giggles sending vibrations throughout your lower back. Sorry, I guess I might have been a bit more desperate than I thought. She releases you, and as you turn around to face her, another bolt of lightning illuminates the sky. The booming noise of thunder that follows makes the both of you jump, with Twilight ending up in your arms. Recovering slightly, you turn a smirk at her, eyebrows raised. She grins at you sheepishly, her ears pinned flat against her head. A thick blush creeps up in her cheeks and she buries her face in your neck, in a feeble attempt to hide it from you. You chuckle to yourself, giving the mare a gentle squeeze. She responds to your affection by shifting around, before finally unfurling both of her wings, sliding them around you as inconspicuously as possible. You sigh into the embrace, nuzzling her forehead, careful not to let her horn poke you in the eye. You look down at her, expecting to see a wide-eyed, flustered alicorn, but instead you're met with a half-lidded smirk. The way that she considered you with her deep pools of violet was enough to send shivers up your spine, and her hungry stare was almost enough to put you on edge. You laugh nervously, looking at anywhere else but her. You know perfectly well what she was implying, and from the way that she was holding you in her tight embrace, you knew enough to conclude that the mare wanted a little something more than just a hug. She must have sensed your unease, because she tightens her grip around you, sliding a hoof around your neck, and pulling herself up to be on eye level with you. You find yourself leaning in as well, before another bolt of lightning strikes outside the window, the booming noise of thunder following shortly after. Twilight lets out a yelp of surprise, shivering as she grips you tighter, nuzzling your cheek with her own. Hey, you okay? You place a hand beneath her chin, and lift her head up in concern. I I'm fine, it's just... She shifts around nervously. I've been meaning to ask you, um, do you want to... Yes? You brush a thumb across her cheek, which was now a shade of burning crimson. I was thinking, the storm is particularly strong, in fact it makes it kind of hard to study, what with the noise and all. She titters nervously, trying to find the right words. And I was thinking, if you aren't doing anything tonight, do you want to, uh, um... Yes, Twilight, what is it? You give her a reassuring squeeze. Do you want to... Do you want to cuddle? She smiles nervously at you. I've dearly missed the feeling of you holding me like this, but I guess what I missed most of all was... You. What do you mean? I... I just... I miss the times when you and I would just be together. Things were so carefree back then. You grip her tighter and lean down to nuzzle her cheek. Of course, Twilight. And yes, we can cuddle. All you had to do is ask. She giggles to herself, clearly enjoying the physical affection that you conveyed to her. She brings up one hoof to kiss your cheek, pulling you in to plant another kiss onto your other cheek. Giggling at your surprised expression, she hops onto the floor. Come on then! We have no time to lose! She winks flirtatiously at you, and you can feel the heat rise to your face at her tone. You walk through the castle hall, each stride full of purpose. Your footsteps echo throughout the empty space, and the only other noise to be heard was Twilight's giggling, and she leads you by the hand with her magic. Stumbling up the stairs, you eventually reach the doors that lead to Twilight's chambers, where you see her standing by the doorway. She's gazing amorously at you, and she gestures towards the bed with a nod, walking towards it. She hops onto it, looking back at you with a smile, signifying that it was okay for you to join her. You hesitantly saunter into the room, keeping your eyes on her. Her tail gives an excited twitch as you near her, before swishing in anticipation as you sit on the foot of the bed. So, how do you want to start? You weren't able to finish your sentence, because no sooner than you had started speaking, you were yanked forcefully by her magic. The next thing you know, you're nestled comfortably next to her, and the blankets carefully arrange themselves around the both of you like a cozy cocoon. Twilight giggles at your flustered expression, before pressing herself against you. She sighs as you throw both arms around her, and she practically melts into the embrace as she lets out a few whines of contentment. 
You trail your hands up her lower back before stopping somewhere near her wing joints. You can feel her tense up in anticipation before she lets out her breath in short puffs. Careful! My wings are a little... sensitive. You raise your eyebrows in question. Well, will you... let me massage them? Twilight thinks over your request, before nodding in agreement, burying her face in your neck. You then take the opportunity to slide both arms under her wings, letting your fingers trail along the downy surface. You elicit a few sighs from her, as you feel each feather with your fingertips, and you can feel Twilight twitch in contentment as you take the time to apply pressure on the ridges and between her feathers where they parted. You can feel Twilight shifting around in search of a more favorable position, before she pulls herself up and was now the one staring down lovingly at you. You smile weakly at her, before you take the opportunity to plant your face into her chest floof. You sigh in contentment as her fur tickles your face, each strand leaving such a wonderful sensation on your bare cheeks as you nuzzle her. You can feel her unfurl her wings, and you feel your cheeks grow warm as she slides them around you like a downy blanket. Her wings serve the purpose of keeping you warm, and her feathers do the job of leaving ticklish sensations on your skin as you shift around in the blissful embrace. Twilight. She looks down at you expectantly, using the broad pad of her hoof to lift your chin up to meet her gaze. Yes. She leans into your touch, and with that all traces of the downpour outside of the castle walls were drowned out by the thudding of your own heart in your ears. You're memorized, you realize, by our violet eyes gazing at you in concern. This was the mare you've come to love, and it was your deepest joy to know that she loved you too. As if reading your minds, Twilight giggles to herself, before pulling you in closer that your lips were only an inch apart. Oh, just kiss me already. You oblige her, closing the distance in between your lips in a kiss. Entwined lovingly in the embrace, you feel all your senses melt into bliss as you further the affection and the passionate moment. A thunderclap echoes throughout the sky, but neither of you flinch as you caress each other a tender moment on a rainy day. God damn, that is sweet and adorable as hell. There really is nothing like a good old cuddle, and this fanfic shows that perfectly. Anywho, let's get on to our perfect donators. Top donators TacoCat598, Peter Coldhard, J10 Man, Darkseid, Gauntlet, and only one thing. Zar630, Strix, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Drake Love Dragon, Pastel Skies, Austin Roland, Crazy Killer557, Stu Hex, Dospo, Madman Stan, Delta Omega, Jack Edge, Rune Siphon9852, Hunter Norman, Stephen Bingham, Michael Dale Aramore, Dash of Evergreen, Rhiny Dragonwolf, Ponyman, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Sword Brother and Mordred, Ron and Wandering, Random Person Man Guy, Easy, Skyuchia, Leslie Prickett, Druden Peterson, Crimson Gets an A9, Lightskin, Monster Kitty, Needs a Life, Milan Biehanek, Lightning Cheese, and many more thunderous people. Thank you all very much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.